Okay, next day. Uh, Eastern Norton County, Kansas. Under yet another beautiful LP Supercell. We are living life correctly, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just look at this, you know. Another excellent LP. Your area of motion, such as it is, is in here. But uh, we've seen nothing that looks like a funnel or any areas of extraordinary rapid rotation either. But so we're playing with another LP storm. And this time we're very close to the base. And so there may be something extraordinarily extraordinary in terms of all features. This, this shape, all that. And then it's kind of an odd thing. It looks like it's almost a second cell, a second base, back behind the uh, the initial one here. But definitely we've got a nice rounded mesocyclone. Very pretty. Okay, now I mentioned this, I thought I had two cells here, and I'm still not entirely convinced that I don't, but, uh... The wind shaking the car a bit. But here's an area of, uh, some rotation. In what appears to be what I'll be calling the second cell, but it may... just be the actual updraft base of what I'm seeing here is the front edge of the mezzo and that's the back edge. It's confusing. But your best motion is actually in terms of just sheer motion is you know this rising motion here in the front edge of the mezzo. Another great storm. LP Fest, ladies and gentlemen. Just South Highway, I think it's uh, 36. We may be making a tornado right here. Sorry, no tripod. That's a funnel, ladies and gentlemen. This thing's about to produce a pretty fair-sized tornado. This wall cloud. Okay, we had a funnel there for a moment, and now it's stopped. I'm gonna move a little bit north to get a better shot at this thing. But uh, but it's trying. It's trying hard. Seems to have split up momentarily. Okay, I think we're safe for the moment. But look at that motion right here. Inflow is increasing dramatically. This is a front flank thing right under right the mezzo. Okay, I think we've sort of passed our first phase of tornado development. And we're, I'm going to have to move here. Mike and the rest of the guys are back. What the heck? This is very peculiar. Should be a uh, trying to warning this thing momentarily. Alright, um, here's the storm. Just past Jim Cantori. And here is the storm. 
storm itself. Looking up, we are in Phillips County, North Highway 36. And you know, we've seen a lot of ro various areas of rotation. This is the latest one. And at times, we've seen fairly violent rotation. But uh, this storm has never really shown the signs that it's about to go nuts. But there is plenty of inflow into it. You know, it's got plenty of inflow. There is no doubt about yeah, that. We can get up here and just look at the rotation a little more closely. There are lots of areas of spins and stuff. Here we go. Here comes another one. A little RIT cut here. Sorry to take you away from that lovely motion, but check this out. We're trying again. Oh, we're getting close now. Oh. Well, hell, it tried. Oh my God, it's trying. something on the ground. This storm is barely moving. Look at that mezzo wrap up. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, there's got to be something on the ground there. Look at that motion upstairs, there's got to be something on the ground. There's got to be. I'm calling that a tornado, folks. That's a tornado. Tornado on the ground at 7.18 p.m. Oh, look at that just coming wiping down there. Holy mackerel. Oh, hell, it's getting rain wrapped again. About to lose contract to the RFD cut. I was getting cocky about position. I have to move. Let's see it cutting down. And in the meantime, the rain wrap mezzo is going to be crossing the road right in front of me here very quickly. And uh, guess what? I'm not going after it. There is all kinds of funky stuff going on in there. Well, shoot, I'm kind of screwed. Whoa, hello. There's something in there. There was a funnel or something in here. Okay.
The stone is going to be almost straight east. And there is something sinister in there, all right. Right there. That is a tornado on the ground, ladies and gentlemen. Tornado on the ground. Fairly large tornado on the ground. As in, oh my god. It's rain rat, but there's a tornado in there. Okay, here it is, the overall structure. It's lifted momentarily, but there's still a big one. It appears to be debris cloud underneath the uh, so-called condensation funnel. It's going to cross the road right in front of me. Shortly. Since the entire vortex crew got behind me, I'm sure it's been called in. I just hope nobody's, nobody's underneath that thing. Getting rain wrapped again, or still. And it's still in there. I'm hearing tornado sirens going off in the distant town. The tornado is still in there. You may be able to hear tornado sirens. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to drive up to it. But you know, I'm far enough away. Good enough vantage point on it. It's still right here. It's still on the ground. It's doing a little multiple vortex thing now. I'm just going to sit here for right now. I'm going to let it run. Large tornado. Nearly stationary. Not sure I'm going to call it on the ground anymore, but it's definitely in there. It's still on the ground. It's huge. It's just plain huge. There goes my cap. No, that's life. The life of a storm chaser. Where is it? There it is. There it is. Back out. Back out. Back out. Well, I'm sorry. It's still going out from a small town. To my northeast, it is big. It's a big tornado. And it's freaking rough. I'm about to get RFD'd here. I'll have to lose one I got to move again. RFD, here it comes. Okay, see you shortly. Wish me luck. Sensational time. You get, you know, all the different schools in there and everybody yelling back and forth at each other. Oh, that's great. Keith, thanks for the memories. Your big tornado on the ground. That opens up a line of 1-800-444-5546. It's going to cross the road right in front of me, but I'm going to kill first. At Newcastle, Indiana, um, the high school gym seats 12 folks. Um, okay, get ready. This is going to be awesome, and I'm safe. I'm at a safe distance, believe it or not. Well, I've got some pretty big high school stadiums that seat upwards around 20 or maybe even more than that, 20,000 people. So you could think, you could have a nice debate in this state about high school venues, the special places in this state to watch high school football games, high school basketball, to watch summertime baseball. See Chris Field, see the Duncan Field in Hastings. Uh, it's going to cross the road right.
right in front of me. Sitting right on top of you, looking down on the floor. It's one This thing is moving very slowly. Very slowly indeed. Okay. Uh, Crawford of Houston is trying to decide between the Griffin and the Diamond after being drafted by Tampa Bay in the Major League Baseball draft yesterday. Crawford and Jamal Lord were the two quarterbacks signed by the Huskers in the 1999 recruiting class. And Coach Frank Sanchez's assistant Turner Neal headed down to Houston today to meet with Crawford and his family. Another Husker went in the draft today. Nebraska pitcher Brian Johnson goes to Kansas City in the 24th round. He's the 721st overall selection. There's some trivia for you. Johnson says he will hear a repeat of report to Spokane to play with the Spokane Indians along with former Husker Ken Harvey in the short season class. So much rain is working. Or in the Gold Coast League and join the Royals Rookie League team, which plays in Baseball City, Florida. Johnson this season did 265, playing in 50 games and started 44 of those. He had four home runs to go along with scoring 39 runs and 41 hits. Crossing the road. Crossing the road right in front of me. There it goes, RFD. Where's the vehicle? I hope everybody's okay up there. All right, back. This is the mezzo that refuses to die. I mean, it's occluded. It's terribly occluded. Look at this. But this big tornado is just not going anywhere. It's a very nice, very nice tornado. Oh my goodness, this has been fun. Okay, now, that's occluding. We should expect something to happen over here. And so we're looking for new rotation to develop in a new mezzo over here. There is roping out now. Now, I'm in an area which is actually too bright to be in. Um, it's roping out. Now, what should happen next? Should be. I'll check out behind us here. It's kind of exciting. Uh, should be a new meso forming northeast. Over here. Or right here. Uh, I'm going to sit and watch this for a little while before I move. The tornado's still here, by the way. Here it is. Coming out the back side. Now what should happen should be a meso occlusion and a new tornado forming to the northeast. Which should be over here. The area that's rotating. Unless it's obscured, new metal's obscured by rain. 